Greetings from beautiful Seattle, Washington, everyone. In this video, I am going to walk from downtown Seattle to Cal Anderson Park in Capitol Hill. The starting point, to be exact, is Westlake Mall. So we are at Westlake Center, which is a shopping mall, to be exact. That's where we're beginning this video. And I didn't come here for the food because I'm currently at the food court. This is a very small food court. I came here to use the restroom. <laughs> anyway, uh, in this video, I'm like I said, I'm going to walk us to Cal Anderson Park. And I'm also going to see if I can show you the Asian street food place that's on the main floor. So let's go and see if that's something we can check out. I'm just wondering if they're going to be blasting music from there. Um, if they are, then I probably will not enter. And I can hear that there's music being played here right now. Hopefully that won't be a problem. Anyway, I'm rather excited to go on this walk. And I say that because I've not made a video of this walk. I believe I've made a video years ago from Capitol Hill to Westlake, but not the other way around. And uh, it's been many years since I've walked this uh, walk from here to there. I've, I've walked it before, but I've never recorded my walks. Now, this walk is about a mile in distance. It should take about 24 minutes to get there. This video will probably end up being about 30 minutes uh, if I include everything, all the talking and everything that will be um, happening because there's things I must show you, share with you, and describe to you. Anyway, here's the Asian street food place, Southeast Asian food hall. Let's go inside. Let's see if there's music inside. And then after this, we'll of course go back out and uh, I'll give you a tour of this wonderful city all right this is what it's looking like on a saturday afternoon it's 12 5 p.m right now and i have made a video here by the way i'll include that in the description just want to give you a quick look and sure enough there's music playing just wanted to give you a quick look <laughs> to see what it's like in here this is not the main focus of this video the main focus is the walking tour And we're gonna do that right now. All right, let's get out there. It's a beautiful day here, y'all. It's, uh, it's supposed to hit 80 degrees later, which, which is fantastic. That's like, that's my zone. 75 to 85 is where I like to be temperature-wise. So uh, 80 is great. Yesterday it hit 90. It was super hot yesterday for Seattle. It was actually a, a bit unbearable, I hate to say it. All right, so across the street is Westlake Park. In that direction there is Pike Place Market, where I just toured. Just came from that direction. I did a bunch of walking before this video. Today is my walking day. I'm going to be getting in a lot of steps. Maybe I'll show you exactly how many steps I get in after this video. All right, let's walk to Capitol Hill, shall we? And that would be um, eastbound direction-wise, by the way. So, all right, there's music blasting here too, copyright music. So we're going to avoid that as best as we can, getting away from the speakers because we do not want to get flagged by the tube. So Pike Place Market was packed today, you guys. Initially, I was going to make a video at the market and it wasn't going to be a walking tour video i've made way too many walking tour videos at pike place market i'm going to take a chill pill with that one i was going to make more of an adventure video but then i was like eh, this feels corny let's go back to basics let's go back to what i enjoy doing and what many of my viewers and that's you all of course enjoy watching which is these walking tour videos give you a quick look what it's like while I um, do something here. Check my phone. <laughs> There's a monorail there, by the, by the way. 
That takes you to the Seattle Center. All right. I'm going to try my best to make this be a one take video, short of something happening like, I don't know. I really can't think of anything. Well, I can, like someone attacking, <laughs> attacking me or if I need to stop and get coffee, which I might need to do that. It would be my second cup. Here's Nordstrom's, y'all. Nordstrom's, Louis Vuitton store. Not too much on display because, uh, you yeah, know, this is Seattle. <laughs> um, so if there's a coffee place on the way, I might stop by to get coffee. If there is a food place, because it's a little after 12, I might stop by to do that, but I'm going to refrain from doing that uh, the best that I can. I'm going to take us to Cal Anderson Park before I get lunch. All right, this is gonna be an interesting walk, you know, going from one very popular area to the next. I imagine there will be a lot of people at Cal Anderson Park hanging out. It's Saturday afternoon, after all. I'm waiting for this light here. Normally, I'll turn off my camera, but I want to make it a one-take video, so I'm not going to do that. This is the east side of Nordstrom's here. Check out the sky bridge there. And that's looking to the south. You keep going that way for about a half a mile. That will take you to International District Chinatown. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get into. There's a bus from Capitol Hill here, bus number 10. And we're coming up on Pacific Place Mall. There's the main entrance. Y'all wanna see the inside real quick? Mm, let's not do that. These malls are not spectacular by any stretch of the imagination. Both of these malls in downtown Seattle, they're just, I don't know, they're smaller malls. Downtown Seattle is not where you would go to check out a shopping mall in Seattle. In my, in my opinion, where you would go to shop would be probably Belle, uh, Bellevue Square. Uh, it's about 20 minutes east of here in Bellevue. Or Alderwood Mall in Linwood, 20 minutes north of here. Or <laughs> Tukwila, uh South Center, South Center Mall, a.k.a. Weisfield Mall in Tukwila. Again, 20 minutes south of here. Or online. Why don't you just shop online? <laughs> Who goes to the mall anymore? Actually, 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 a lot of people still do. You know, because people like to touch and feel, right? It's, you know, it's one thing to order online, and it's totally, a totally different experience to be able to touch and feel and try on, physically try on stuff before you buy. All right. There's going to be stretches where it might be boring. Try my best to entertain you. Let's just keep running my mouth. <laughs> just, today is definitely my walking day, y'all. I have a lot of free time today. And it's why I'm making this video. And I love these walking, what I call walking days. Because I can really just do what I want. <laughs> do what I want. Most of the time I will uh, well, walk and film my walks and take street photos. I actually brought a proper camera, like an actual camera besides my phone, uh, to take street photos. And I actually took a bunch at the market and on the way from the market to West Lake Center. All right. So now we're by the convention center. Seattle Convention Center. I want to make a comment about that. I mean, for the longest time, it was Washington State Convention Center. I think 
did they switch over to Seattle Convention uh, Convention Center, or are they both? You know, look at the, oh, there's a coffee shop right there, y'all. Cafe Ladro. Yeah, I mean that's where like Cosmo. Um, there's a co Comic Con, Seattle Comic Con, would take places at the convention center, and it would always be Washington State Convention Center. But I think. I think they've switched it over to Seattle Convention Center. So then what happened to Washington State Convention Center? There's gotta be a convention center for the state, right? Let me know in the comments. I try to keep up with things, but you know, I'm not omniscient. I'm not all knowing and I can't, I can't keep up with all the updates. But this building that's coming up here is nice. This is the new Seattle Convention Center. This is where Comic-Con took place the last couple or three years, I want to say. It's been around for a couple of three years. Such a beautiful building and equally beautiful inside. And it's across the street from the Paramount. Yeah. And if you go one block, that's where the old Seattle Convention Center slash Washington State Convention Center that is located. And there's a restaurant here apparently called Bombo. Bombo. I'm not going to eat there. All right. So we're going to keep walking east. I think we're about 25% of the way there. And in about a block or so, we'll be crossing I-5. The freeway. <sighs> I'm being really mindful about uh, not breathing too hard, y'all. But it's hard for a man like myself, especially when he's walking uphill and has been eating has been eating donuts a lot <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> Sorry. my daughter's child speaks hindi oh. and urdu there's a an the event happening interesting the speakers the speakers uh their paths they have speakers outside so you can hear what's going on inside well you can't see see them because they're in some conference room inside you can truly hear what's happening oh check out this place wow piroshki piroshki this is one of their locations that was okay i mean piroshki piroshki is a very popular how do i how do i call it a uh, russian bakery i like these benches that they have here this is great uh like a russian bakery their food is so good. They have a store by uh, at Pipe Place Market. They have a number of stores, although I don't know how many stores they have currently. There's one at South Center. I noticed that that place closed recently. Uh, and then there was one on, I think, what is it, 2nd Avenue? They closed that one too. And so now you have this location. Maybe this is the new location. Uh, yeah, so I think they're... They are uh, consolidating, perhaps. Turning two closed stores into one. But, man, that's great that they're here. Gonna have to check them out if... Oh, I don't know if I will. Because <laughs> it gets so busy there. I was just gonna say that if I check out Comic-Con sometime in the near future I'll definitely check them out alright so now we're at Pine and Boren Boren is sort of like a ninja street if I-5 is backed up this is a good street to Wait. take to Wait. traverse south to north or north to south Wait. and you can see I-5 down below look at all those cars northbound doesn't look good at all right Wait. now y'all does not look good. 
All right, I'm waiting for this light here and trying to follow instructions. Wait. He's telling me to wait, and so I'm just going to wait, just like that one song, rock song by the rock band uh, White Lion. The song named Wait, I think it was named Wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. I'm really dating myself by talking about stuff like this in my videos. All right, so look at I-5. Take a look at I-5. Northbound to the left, uh, or southbound rather, sorry. Northbound is to the right. Southbound looks a little bit better right now. All right, so we're gonna cross I-5 here, and then we'll be at Capitol Hill. Oh, this guy's hauling ass. <laughs> All right. Across the street, there's a uh, dog park right there. Whoop. Man, all sorts of graffiti and tagging happening there. Wow. Take a look at the view from here. That right there is a uh, uh, South Lake Union, Amazon territory. There's a sign there. Maybe you can see it. Lease today. And I'm sure that lease is not cheap there. Nor is it cheap anywhere in Seattle or greater Seattle area for that matter. Everything has gotten really expensive. Across the street is Melrose Market. That's a cool place there, that market. There's all sorts of stuff inside and also there is a Starbucks reserves right there if you go to the end of the block there. Alright. What is this place? Wabi or Wasabi Sushi Seattle? Oh, I love that name. Wasabi. My dog's name. Dog that died two years ago. <laughs> uh, my wife and I miss him. Wasabi. Such a good boy. That's the thing with dogs though, they don't live too long. Although he lived to be 15, which is a full life, I think, for a dog. Smaller dogs live longer, bigger dogs, even shorter lives, 10, 11 years. Before I got wasabi, when I was younger, I had a couple of dogs. I was actually a dog breeder. Boxers was the breed. I had the male and female, the sire and the dam. Uh, bred a few, uh, a few li uh, litters. Super cute dogs. Especially when they're pups. They live to be about, yeah, 11 years old. Both of them died at 11. Okay, I want to turn back, show you what it looks like from here. This vantage point from Capitol Hill looking to downtown Seattle. We'll go ahead and do a 360 here. All right, we're 18 minutes into this walk. And uh, we have about a little bit I think we're past the halfway mark. Um, this building here, if you go this way, there's a bar. Really cool. I'll have to take y'all there at night. It's a cool bar. And below, there's uh, areas where you can sit. And I believe there's a poster or mural of Bruce Lee. You know, Bruce Lee, the man who changed the world. Man, myth, legend. All right, I definitely need a drink here. It's a little bit muggy right now. It's not super hot, but it is muggy, especially if you're walking. Uh, oh, there's a pressed 
There's a pressed juice place. Look at that. It's called pressed juice juicery. Now I could go there. What would be ideal is a place that uh, has like a order window. Just walk up and order something, you know. I want something just super transactional. You give me, I pay you, so I can keep on walking. All right, they're jaywalking. They must be from Portland. No, I'm gonna do the same. Oh, <laughs> the light turn. That was just a partial jaywalk. All right. Where am I gonna get something to drink? Where am I gonna get lunch? I don't know, I could get lunch here, Sugar Hill. They have really good, in my opinion, they have uh, Khao Man Kai chicken with rice. Really good here. But they're not open, this is more of a night spot. But yeah, order Khao Man Kai, sit right here next to all the records and stuff. Uh, it's a vibe there, I like it. Kind of has a retro feel with records and stuff. And then next door is this restaurant here. And this restaurant has a rooftop deck. I've been here a few times. Amanda and I have uh, hung out upstairs. And I remember there was a outdoor, oh, there it is, it's still here. Yeah, there's outdoor seating here. Order food at this pickup uh, and order window here and sit outside. All right, thirsty. Who can bring me a lemonade right now? I will pay you $20 for lemonade right now. Here is Tamari Bar. Not been to that place. What is this? Oh, hey. this is a place where I can order a drink, but they're playing music. Can't do that. <laughs> what a walking adventure. Maybe that's what I'll call it. No, I don't know. Some viewers might not like that. They might be like, dude, you're calling that an adventure. You're so lame. Uh, you're so lame. Well, how about I call it? Old man adventure then. Huh? Old man walking adventure. What do you think about that? Is that a, is that, oh that is, that's a kitty. That's the cat, um, it's called Lots of Cats. It's a cat cafe. Let me know in the comments if you want me to go inside one day. The cat cafe. Let me know in the comments. All right, we're not too far from there, y'all. Thank you for walking with me this whole entire time. If you've, if you've been with me since the beginning, because we're now at the 23 minute mark and there is music just blasting from this place to my left here. It's just blasting. All right, let's keep it together. Well, look at this place. It's a barber shop and a tattoo shop. It's a two-in-one. Rudy's Barber Tattoo. Looks cool in there. All right. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a very tame walking video, walking tour video. This is no Harold Balder or who's the other guy, South African guy? I haven't watched his videos in a long time. Kurt, Kurt Kaz, <laughs> used to watch his videos. Um, he travels the world. And... There's a pizza place here. I believe we've gotten pizza from them before. Pizza by the slice, Ooh, sweaty. Yeah, Kurt Kaz, it's kind of, kind of reminds me of uh, Harold Balder, or yeah, Harold Balder. 
younger, uh, similar videos, but also different. I feel like he's a reincarnated version of uh, uh, Harold Balder. He, he has like a James Bond vibe to him because uh, if anything, it's because of he, <laughs> he, puck, he like picks up girls in all these countries that he goes to. He always has like a lady friend that he hangs out with. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you watch Kurt Kaz videos. All right, here's a place called Korean Dog. If you don't see the EA in there, you might think that it says corn dog. But it's actually Korean dog. This is cool. This is Korean street food. Look at that. Wow. I need to try this place sometime. Yeah, it's across the street from Seattle Central College. The back side of it. The, the west side of West side of it. Yeah, that's the college right there. Central. Whew. College. All right. We are doing good, everybody. Making good time. This is going to be what I call a medium length video. Not too short. Not too long. Just right. Hashtag faux fit. P-H-O. F. Oh no, actually, that's not how you spell Fofic. Fofic is spelled P H O F E K T. Fofic. That's how you spell it. Fofic. There's nothing Fofic about Fofic. All right, here we are. Seattle Central College. One of the Seattle colleges and across the street is the man, the myth, the legend, Jimi Hendrix statue. And there's a college in that direction there. But we're going to cross the street and uh, arrive at Cal Anderson Park. Just a block, a block from here. Oh, I'm super thirsty. If I could pick between water and rice right now, y'all, I'd probably pick water. Water's more important than food. Whew. Let's check out this graffiti. We're in Capitol Hill, y'all. Yeah. Capitol Hill. Some call it art. But uh, really, it's graffiti. Graffiti can be art. Graffiti is art. But oftentimes, or all of the time, graffiti isn't commissioned. Or let me re reframe. If it's not commissioned work, unless someone's paying you to make the graffiti, you know, create the graffiti, then really it's, uh, is it vandalism? Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Is it vandalism? Graffiti. All right, here we are, Cal Anderson Park. Across the street is Molly Moon Ice Cream. Uh, it's sort of blocked right now by that Seahawks short bus there. <laughs> Did you take the short bus when you were uh, going to school? Let me know in the comments. Or let me know in the comments if you know someone who took the short bus. Let me know in the comments. Nothing wrong with it. It is what it is, right? All right, here we are at Cal Anderson Park. Oh, looks like they're selling stuff. For, are they selling shirts? Oh, these shirts are kind of cool, yo. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Talk to them. Talk to them. They're, they're elegant people. Well, I like their I like their shirts. Wow. Uh, the to buy one ten. The might have to buy one. Might have to buy one. Uh, 
uh, as to be expected, they're playing, what are they playing? They're playing a sport here. All right, what do you think? Should we end the video here? I think we should. It's been exactly 30 minutes. Right here, 30 minutes. Boop! We have hit the mark. Wow. Wow. That's really good. I want to check out their shirts real quick. How are you guys doing? I like your shirts, man. I like your aesthetics here. Yeah, yeah. I'm making a walking, walking tour video. I just walked from Westlake all the way here. Oh, nice. And then I stumbled upon your, your, your stand. Yeah. Can I ask you a little bit about what you're selling? Uh, yeah, so or we're, your, starting your store? A, uh, we're starting a streetwear brand. Uh, okay. Streetwear outdoor brand. We're trying to create a, a combination between technical outerwear and streetwear. Okay. And now we're selling shirts. Mm -hmm. What is it called, your it's brand? G2G. G2G. What does G2G stand G2G for? G2G Lab on Instagram, G2G.lab. Oh. Okay, I'm have to check you guys G2G out. G2G means, uh, means gotta go, but we kind of wrote about it on our tag here. Mm -hmm. Can I? It okay. says, G to G is not a farewell, it's a declaration of our imperative to act. So it basically means we must, we compulsively must do things, whether it's rock climbing or designing or creating. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. Well, I'll have to check you guys out online. Thanks, man. On the Appreciate IG, it. but I like the the texture of your shirts. How much are your shirts, for example? Like, shirts are 36. We're uh -huh. doing buy two shirts, get a free beanie or a free baseball hat today. Buy two shirts, get a free beanie or, or what? A, or baseball a free baseball hat. hat. Baseball a cap. Hat. So okay, if you buy it. two, you get either a beanie in one of our six colors or a baseball hat. In the color awesome. Awesome. We're doing the bags. The big bags are going to be 100. Small bags are going to be 90. Cool. Uh, for ski masks are going to be 110, but these are not out yet. Awesome. That one, that one, and that one. All right, man. I'm going to check you guys out online. I'm going to walk around. I might actually come back and buy some while I'm here. Yeah, okay. totally. But yeah, Appreciate I'm Dennis. You. The channel is Lao Ocean. I do a lot of Seattle content. Cool. We'll check it out. L L LAO. Uh -huh. And then space ocean, cool. like like body of water. Is that, your, is that your YouTube? That's my YouTube. Okay. Yeah, been doing oh. it for a few years now. But yeah. Awesome. All right, y'all. Thank you. Yeah. Well. Take care. See ya. Yep. All right. I was glad I was able to talk to him for a little bit. But um, I lied. We're not gonna stop at thirty minutes. We're gonna go to <laughs> old stomping grounds here. Uh, <laughs> if you've watched my videos from. The COVID days, uh, this should bring back a lot of uh, a lot of feelings, memories, right? <laughs> but we're gonna go to the restroom area and see what it looks like. We might actually walk all the way around, and in this video at the police station, East Precinct, which is located over there. Or we might just keep we might just keep going. <laughs> yeah. We might just keep going. Who knows? You know? We might just keep going. Let's not make any promises right now. You know? We're feeling it. So we're just gonna keep a good thing going. And maybe I'll show you where I end up getting food. You know? G2G, check them out online, y'all. I do like their shirts. $30. Seems reasonable. Buy two, get a hat or beanie hat, like a baseball cap or beanie hat, for free. Doesn't sound like a bad deal. All right. Sports photographer there, looks like. And look at this. <laughs> Ooh, the community garden is gone. Um, that used to be all gardens there. Haven't been here in a while. But uh, it looks different. Look at this. Huh. There used to be a ping pong table here. They've got these table and tables and chairs with the red umbrellas. Looks very inviting. Is that the word? Huh. It's a guy with a violin over there. <laughs> wow. Nothing stays the same. You know? 
So we're we're only at the halfway. We're sort of midway at this park. It's sort of like the middle area here. Park keeps going. It's a nice little park. Very accessible for uh, um, city dwellers, especially um, Capitol Hill folks. Uh, across the street is Central Lutheran. Looks like there's a guy laying down there. All right, I'm gonna walk this way. Walk this way, dog this way. Walk this way, dog this way. Give me a beat. All right, I'm entering the silly um, zone here with my behavior. Cut that out. Don't you dare be silly. All right. Let me show you this building here. Check out this building. <laughs> if you like graffiti, this building is for you. Graffiti. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And around the corner is a hot dog stand, though it does not look like it's open. Yeah, it's closed. Dirty dog hot dog dot com. All right, um, that there's a Black Lives Matter mural, y'all. And I promise you I'll show you the East Precinct, Seattle Police Department, East Precinct. It's right there. I'm actually not going to walk up to it. There's not much to show there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep walking until I get to a place where I either get something to drink or to eat. Wow, this is one of the longer videos that I've made in a long time. We're approaching the 40 minute mark. We're now entering the what I call a uh, long or yeah, long or longer length video. This is Mount Joy. Oh, I so want to get something to drink here. But they're playing music, which is great. They should be playing music. Music is therapeutic healing. A beautiful thing. A gift. A gift to humans, music is. Just not for YouTube. <laughs> Just not for YouTube videos. Sometimes I don't really care, you know. I make these videos like, okay, there's music, there's music. I just don't want to get too many strikes on my channel and have there be problems. Look at this. No parking 24-7. You will get towed if you park there. All right. Let's see if we can get some food. Food or drinks. There's a salon here. Look at that. I got waxing facials. You can get waxed. You can get facials there. Hmm. All right, so now we're on Pike, 11th and Pike, and we are entering fall season. Fall season is around the corner. You can sort of see the color difference in the trees, but not quite yet, actually. I think we've got a ways to go before I could definitively say that fall is in the air. Give it a week or two, maybe. All right. Now we're at Chop House Row. All right, I think what I'm going to do, y'all, is actually I'm going to get a drink 
then I'm going to get food. I'm going to get a drink and I'm actually contemplating making a second video, which I will upload uh, later on, probably not on the same day. So you can watch that if you'd like. Uh, I can be sort of a continuation video sort of thing. Uh, but I'm really thinking about getting something to, to drink here and then walking to Little Saigon in the International District and getting lunch there. Maybe I'll get pho at Pho Bok Soup Shop, one of my favorite places uh, to go to for pho. I'll just sit at the bar there. It's going to be busy there. But if I sit at the bar, if I'm by myself and I sit at the bar, it might be OK. But yeah, um, I'll think about it. I'm going to go inside here and get a drink. Show you what, show you what it looks like in here. I made a video um, of this place beginning at this coffee shop the uh, bicycle and cafe place and uh, I think from there I walk where did I walk to Dick's or something Dick's drive drive in Dick's burgers but let's get a second coffee show you the vibes here yeah all right y'all Oh, there's a little girl getting her hair cut to my left. That's super cute. All right, let me get a drink here. And uh, see you in the next video. Thank you so much for walking with me. Uh, it's been a 40, 41 minutes of walking and talking. All right, see you soon. Take care. Peace.